Hey there everyone, this is Atesh and I'm back with another video. So what we'll be doing today, as the title says, we are gonna today compare the two great gigantic apps in the design world. Now, of course, one of them is pretty much more gigantic, one is newbie, you can say. So these are the two apps, the Photoshop and the Sketch. So we will be comparing which one is better. Of course, there is none of them is better and none of them is less better or something. Everybody has a perspective and every particular thing has a situation where one thing rules the other. So we'll be comparing which one is going to be suitable for you. And we'll be placing all those scenarios with that. So let's get started. So today, let's get going with the Photoshop and the sketch. Now, first of all, let's build up a ground that who am I and why am I talking about it? Because as a simple designer or a developer, you need to understand that which kind of a person I am so you can judge my perspective, okay? So I am a developer, but I used to hire the designers to design all of my things like uh, web icons or my image overviews for uh, my apps, my websites, and pretty much like that. So this used to be a scenario because I'm a developer and I used to hate design, uh, although it was very much necessary for me to learn the design to make sure that my apps looks really great. So I started with the Photoshop and everybody knows that Photoshop is a gigantic, enormous uh, monster that you cannot uh, just master in a couple of days or a month. You need to spend a lot of time with it. And then I heard about the Sketch app. And by the way, I'm not associated with the Sketch or anything, guys. Uh, I have no affiliation or affiliate link, so don't worry about that. So then I heard about the Sketch app and I thought that let's give it a go. I tried it and uh, apart from being a developer, now I design all of my assets, including uh, the most common icons, uh, the SVG icons for my apps, for my website, uh, my wallpapers even, and uh, my icons for the YouTube uh, thumbnails and pretty much I do it by myself and I'm pretty much happy with that. So let's compare the Photoshop and the sketch. And again, as I told you, I'm not a professional designer, but I'm going there. <laughs> I'm just moving into the phase. I'm pretty much happy with it. So I'm not a professional designer yet, but I do code a lot and I am a developer. I would like to say that. So let's just compare that. Now, the first thing that I don't like about the Photoshop is the subscription model. I, I don't like them much because subscription is something which just consumes your money every month. While on the sketch, it's a little bit expensive, like $99 is still a big amount of money that you might want to spend in just one software. And uh, so I like the sketch uh, monetization. It's just one time go. I bought the sketch in uh, the third version and still they are giving me the support and update and pretty much everything. And right now, as you can see, I'm on the sketch version 41, which they call like to call as sketch four. Uh, so still they are do giving me everything for just 99 bucks for the students they offer a discount as well i'm not sure but i think they give you for 70 dollars or something I, I have no idea about uh, pretty sure but i did pay uh, almost 99 dollars for the sketch so i like that and while well, on the other hand the photoshop gives you a subscription model which is comparatively it's cheap uh, because it's i think it's 49 bucks uh, a month but uh, if you'll just use the sketch for let's just say three months then it's gonna be okay so i'm happy with the sketch in that point now if you'll ask me that uh, which one is a gigantic enormous and can do a lot of work then for sure it's photoshop sketch is no match for the photoshop in that but if you'll ask me to design an image which is having a clear background should have uh, this a uh, lot of stuff like that then obviously sketch cannot do that that's a drawback but uh, obviously sketch was never meant to do so because it's not meant to handle the images and clear their backgrounds remove their backgrounds so in that particular case uh, uh, the photoshop is much more gigantic and enormous and a couple of more things that I do like about the sketch. Let me just open that up. And this is a plain uh, background, a plain slate, you can say. And one thing as I like, I can press A for artboard. Uh, they like to call their canvas as the artboard. I can see that on the right hand side, I have got iPad Pros, iPhone, iPad 7s, iPhone 7s and uh, desktops and everything. So basically, right from the start, it's telling you that, hey, I'm not meant for the image editings and uh, uh, some stuff like that that is uh, photoshop is more powerful and famous to do so so it just says hey i'm not meant for that 
I'm meant to design the interface of a website for a mobile website or a big gigantic website or a mobile app for the Android, for the iPhone and everything. So I, I would like to stick with that. So that's what this app is saying. And uh, right from out of the box, you can say they have got some material designs for the iPhones and uh, uh, some Android phones as well. With the desktop, you can say they have responsive desktop HD, desktop, tablet and mobile portrait. That straight of the box, they are saying that, hey, you know what? we are not going to be doing any kind of image stuff we are going to be doing and focusing on the ui design of your websites and your mobile apps so i like the concept i can just select anything like iphone 7 and there you go right forward they give you a canvas or they like to call it as artboard of an iphone 7 and every size and everything is being done already for me so that's good now yes you can design almost every everything that sketch can do you can do everything in the photoshop but to be honest for a developer like me who who don't want to go into the basics of the layers and the colors and pretty much everything uh, sketch is much more efficient for a guy like me yes obviously a professional designer can immediately go ahead and uh, design a much more better interface than me but since i'm a developer i know how the interface should look like and i am pretty sure that what color scheme goes uh, with the apple and what doesn't goes so therefore if a developer learns how to design, it is much more effective uh, and professional and he can grow quite more. But it doesn't mean that I want to offend all of the designers out there. They are doing pretty good job. Obviously, they are always going to be remain uh, much more higher and uh, pers perspective wise, they are going to remain higher than me, obviously. Uh, so that's one thing. Now, another thing that I do like about the sketch is something like this. Let's just say I'm creating a rectangle. So I'll press R and uh, I'll, I'll upload a more videos about the sketch work. So I can just have this. And now, you know what? I can just select the background and I can say what's the size of that. Let me just delete it for a moment again. I can see that the size is 375. Let me just give it a rectangle R and uh, I have I want to give it a, th a half of 375. So I can just say here that something like 375 and divided by 2. So I just press enter and it gives me the half of 375. So you can perform a lot of mathematics operation in the sketch. And I, I just love this because uh, I can just select anything and can precisely say, hey, you know what? I want to do a half of your artboard and I, it, it's going to do for me. Obviously, I could have just opened up a calculator and could have done that. But, you know, I'm a lazy guy and I like this approach here. OK, so this is the one thing that I do like about it. It can do a lot of calculation and mathematics approach for you. Now, one more thing that I do like about is, is something known as uh, rotate copies and options, which are much more good for a developer. Let, let me give you a quick demo. I can just make a line and uh, there is my line. I can select rotate copies and I can get, uh, let's just say 14 of that. Click OK. And now I have got a good uh, clockish thing. Uh, there we go and i can just play around with it can get a lot of designs and things like that i hope you got the idea so these small shortcuts obviously i could have done them in the photoshop but uh, this saves me a lot of time and in fact in the future movies we'll i'll show you that how you can design some cool icons and can replicate some logos and everything is in the vector form so that's that's nice obviously i can just select this guy or any guy here and I can scale them up uh, to let's just say 200% and uh, it's not gonna just randomly get scattered in the pixel wise. So these are the few things that I do like about the sketch. Now uh, bear with me. One more thing that I do like about the sketch are these operations at the top, the union, subtract, intersection and the difference. These are really good. Saves a lot of time, of course. <laughs> as I always say, you can do them in the Photoshop as well, but still, uh, for the developer purpose, I don't want to dig up into the layers and layers of the Photoshop. And that is why I do love the sketch. Now you might be thinking this is a biased movie for the all time. You have been just shouting about sketch, sketch, sketch. Uh, I do have some of the problems in the sketch. Like one of the problems that I do face is clearing up the background. They could have involved that. Like if I want to delete the background, there used to be a magic eraser in the Photoshop. Still it does. Uh, but there is no such thing in the Photoshop. So if you're looking that uh, sketch is going to be an alternative for the Photoshop, you're completely wrong. Uh, it's not going to happen. I think it's never going to happen. Not anytime soon, but it's never going to happen. So you will for sure need Photoshop if you are good into the editings and all of those stuffs. But if you are someone like me who don't want to do uh, uh, 
gigantic enormous stuff in the Photoshop and things like that, you know. Then you can completely get rid of the Photoshop and can work on the sketch. Now, I bought sketch uh, almost uh, a year back, I guess so, or maybe a little, little while that. And still, uh, I don't use Photoshop now. I do all of my work in some of the online tools like Canva and in the, in the sketch. So I'm completely happy with that. If I do need something else, so I just hire someone from the freelancer or something and I just make sure that he does a quick job for me. So that is going to be my whole point of perspective about the sketch versus Photoshop. Let's summarize it quickly. Sketch is not at all an alternative for the Photoshop, but still it's a value for the money. It's good. You will be completely happy if you are into the development and you like to design your own assets, especially for the websites, all of them, mobile, tablet and everything. And as well as you like to do some of the mobile stuff for the Android or the iPhone, then I would definitely say go ahead, try the sketch and they do have a trial version. So go ahead, try it out and let me know in the comments below that how, how you like the sketch. And for sure in the future movies, I'll be uploading some cool tutorials uh, that, will, that are going to teach you the sketch basics as well. So with this, I would like to say subscribe to the channel. I'm putting a lot of videos now and you might have noticed the new setup that I have got. So this is only because I want to get much more serious on the YouTube. And do hit the like button, subscribe button and share it with your friends if you think that somebody can get benefit from this movie. Ta-da!